These days, content is king. Creating content can be an inexpensive way to amplify your voice, generate leads, and engage your customers. Content can also help you boost your website on search with SEO, making it easier to connect with more people. But instead of just taking content creation one day at a time, consider making a content strategy. That way, you can make a plan and tailor your content to suit your goals. Hi, I'm Devin, and here are 10 tips to keep in mind when creating your content strategy. Number one, set specific goals. Content can bring so much benefit to your website, but instead of hoping for just general improvement, shoot for clear-cut goals. Maybe you want your content to educate your audience on your products and establish your brand as thought leader in your industry. You might want to intrigue your audience by stirring their interest in your products or engaging them on social media. You can also choose a more concrete intention, like hitting a certain follower count on Twitter or improving your overall conversion rate. Goals will help you create better content suited for your business's needs. Whatever your specific objectives are, they can serve as a guide for the content you'll produce. Number two, know your visitor. Along the same lines of setting specific goals, you want to get crystal clear on who you're making content for. A target audience tells you what to talk about, what tone to use, what platform is best, what stage of the buyer's journey to focus on, and so much more. Number three, segment your content. Not all of your content will make sense for every client. Instead of casting a wide net, consider segmenting your content to target the right audience. If you collect emails at a particular event, make sure those email campaigns are customized for that audience and their needs. If you're making videos on TikTok, then make sure it's for the demographic that uses that platform. More directed content will improve conversion. Number four, conduct keyword research. SEO, or search engine optimization, is vital so that your content gets found by the people searching for it. Do keyword research to find out the exact terms and questions your audience is searching for. Then place those keywords in your posts and titles so your content has a better chance of showing up in relevant searches. Number five, choose the channels you want to focus on. Content is more than just blogs, videos, and social media. It's also emails and podcasts and eBooks. Each of these formats has different audiences, optimization techniques, and best practices. Determine which channels will be most effective for your target audience and goals. Remember, you don't have to do it all. Putting effort into the platform where you get the most interest might be time better spent than trying to cover every format. Number six, repurpose old content. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you've created some great content in the past, get the most mileage out of it that you can. You can convert a well-written blog post into a YouTube video, an infographic, or a social media blast, or even all three. Look at your most popular posts or any comprehensive content like a report or a white paper to see how you can recycle the content in a new way. Number seven, be authentic with your voice. Your content showcases your company's brand. Be thoughtful and make sure your content is always in line with your company's messaging. Content can be an excellent way for customers to get to know you. And remember, the better they know you and connect with you, the more loyal they'll feel to your brand. So don't be afraid to show some personality. Number eight, create a content calendar. Instead of brainstorming content on a day-to-day -day or even a week-to-week -week basis, a content calendar can take the guesswork out of the process. Take the time to plan out content every month or every quarter. This practice also helps you stay ahead of holidays, product launches, and seasonal promotions so you're not scrambling at the last minute. Number nine, Use automation. Once you've created a calendar, you can make your life even easier by using automation. If your posts can run on autopilot, that's just one less thing to worry about. Schedule when you want your content posted by using WordPress or a social media scheduling tool. Number 10, analyze results. After you've rolled out all your amazing content, don't forget the final critical step, analyzing the results. Review your metrics and goals to congratulate yourself for a job well done or to see if you need to adjust your strategy. Maybe your blog posts are underperforming, but your YouTube is generating a flood of new traffic to your store. That information is essential for your next steps. You could choose to put more effort into the areas that aren't doing as well as you hoped, or instead, you might want to focus all your energy on the one platform that's doing really well. It's up to you and your goals, but analyzing the results will help you make those decisions for the future. 
For more awesome tips to grow your business, like and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us at Bluehost on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.